Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beam Wee Bunker. Today we are looking at Bonnie and Clyde vs. Dracula. The title alone makes you think this movie is going to be awesome. How can it not be? You've got Bonnie and Clyde, the king and queen of killers. I mean, their rampage in, back then was, it's like legendary. And Dracula, I mean, the monster of all monsters. I mean, how can this not be an amazing movie? Well, we'll start with the fact that you've got two stories going on. You've got Bonnie and Clyde over here, being Bonnie and Clyde. And Bonnie, all Bonnie does is bitch about everything. And Clyde, Clyde is some whipped little dickhead who is a complete moron who just, you know, kind of goes around, barely knows how to do fucking shit. Then you have this other story going on with this deformed doctor and his, I'm guessing, mentally retarded sister, and they've captured Dracula, and the deformed doctor trying to use Dracula to cure himself, and he's got to supply him with blood, so you're thinking, alright, these two are going to butt heads at some point. Here's the problem of, if you're going to call your movie anything versus anything else, there needs to be a point where they actually, you know, fight each other. Because, you know, if I'm going to say a sporting event, and it's Packers versus the Vikings, and I sit there for three hours, and then, you know, eight seconds of, you know, the actual Packers and the Vikings are on the field together, and that's it. That's not that's not a versus. That's kind of a, a cordial gathering for just, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, we'll see you later. Because that's all this is. The, the, the climax? There is no climax. It's pathetic. I mean, it is literally... And you know what? I'm going to ruin the movie for you, because it's not even worth watching. Bonnie shows up at the house with the doctor, and mind you, this is with, like, 15 minutes of the movie left when she when they finally get there and she gets turned into a vampire immediately so then Clyde goes looking for her and oh my god there's Dracula and Dracula's gonna kill him I mean just you know it's not even like a big shootout or punching or nothing it's just grab him choke him he's gonna die retarded girl walks by opens the window trades and Dracula gets burned up by the sun so it should have been retarded girl kills Dracula is what the name of the movie should have, should have been because that's all it was I mean it was such a letdown I, I mean, I didn't expect it to be amazing, you know. I thought it could be fun, but it wasn't fun because it's... The two stories going on, it should have merged so much sooner. And it would have been a lot less boring. And there should have been an actual fight between Bonnie and Clyde and Dracula, not a... Just, oh look, the stupid girl killed Dracula, and now I'm okay, my girlfriend's a vampire, and... Ugh... Scale of 1 to 10. This is... It was embarrassing. It's like putting your pants on inside out. If the outside of your pants are covered in razor blades and you just shaved off your own penis. That's what this is. It's just painful to watch. It should have been good because putting your pants on, like fresh out of the dryer, should, should be awesome. Fresh out of the dryer, awesome. Oh my god, the razor blades are cutting me to pieces. I can't feel my legs anymore. Oh my god, what did I do? Nope. Nope. It's not even worth watching. So, skip this one completely. As much as the title wants you want to go, I want to watch it, but this is... It's, no. No. Put down the gun. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. Till next time, stay safe in the wasteland, folks.